Welcome to the Power Wheelchair Comparison Web Series. Join us as we take a look at eight of the top power wheelchairs on the market today. If I knew somebody was shopping for a new chair, I would recommend that they look at every chair that they possibly can and look at all their different options. People tend to recommend what they're familiar with and what they like. Whether it's their friend likes something because they've been in it for 10 years or a therapist recommends something because they like the sales rep or the dealer may recommend a particular manufacturer because they're the most comfortable with that manufacturer but that may not always be the best for the end user I would recommend doing all the research on online and looking at everything that fits your allowable code you will be given authorization for a group 3 chair or a group 2 chair then look at every chair that fits that funding code and then as an end user you get to choose what fits your needs in today's constraint for funding, one should look for a chair that is not compromised in quality. Uh, I think it, because the chair is going to be used for many years, uh, you should look for uh, someone who makes products within the U.S., someone who has great history of, of quality on their products. I would say look around at all your options. Uh, there is no one power chair that's good for everybody. And so we excel in several areas. If you're looking for a durable chair, a fast chair, one that does off-road, we'd be a, a good chair to consider. Someone who's about to buy a new chair, they should really look for a chair that matches their lifestyle. A lot of the chairs on the market essentially do the same thing. They all drive. A lot, most of them have specialty controls um, and, and really are able to do adapt to the user, but someone should really are they mostly indoors? Are they mostly outdoors? A combination of both and really get the chair to adapt to their lifestyle. One of the most important things when selecting a chair is to go through somebody who is certified. Let's say they have their, their ATP, assistive technology provider, assistive technology practitioner. When somebody gets a chair, if it's not performing the way they want it to perform, it's important that they go back to the dealer they purchased it from. And if they're not getting support from that dealer, they should be able to contact the manufacturer's rep in that area that's willing to come out, sit down, spend some time with them. Not all manufacturers are willing to do that. Not all manufacturers are, uh, have the capability to do that in their sales force. We encourage you to, to get in the chairs and, and try them. Um, we are one that says, you know, it's, it's really about the consumer and what they feel fits their, their needs and their environment the best. So really encourage um, trying our products, trying products in general and getting in them and, and to your specific environment and seeing what works best for you. The more information you can you can ever get about making any purchase, especially with any kind of medical equipment, I mean, the better the better it is for you. It's always a, a difficult situation because therapists and doctors and, and medical equipment dealers are involved, and they're they're the experts. But when it comes down to it, end users are the ones that have to live with the chair. They have to live in the chair. So just make sure 100% that that the chair that you pick is the one you want, whether it's our chair or somebody else's. Make sure that that you've examined and, and completely looked at all aspects of the chair before you purchase. For details about eight of the top power wheelchairs on the market today, tune in to the Power Wheelchair Comparison Web Series. Transportation provided by the Braun Entervan. www.braunability.com. Brought to you by the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation and Gold Pictures. Filmed on location at Universal Studios, California.